is a man that, uh, that I loved and I cared for, and he was a good man. And um, he changed. First at six, a CBS 4 News exclusive, the ex-girlfriend of former Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Alvarez now talking about the trouble in their relationship that led to his arrest last week. Evelyn Fernandez, who is fighting cancer, says she was battered by the former mayor and police director. Carlos Alvarez is out of jail on bond right now, facing one charge of battery. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Coral Gables, where he spoke exclusively with Evelyn Fernandez. And Peter, what did she say? Well, Ellie and Evelyn Fernandez told us she was actually in the process of reconciling with Alvarez until she was attacked two weekends ago. Now, while she says that Alvarez had been verbally abusive to her, she stayed with him because she hoped that would stop. I feel very bad. I feel, I feel horrible for everything that's going on. Evelyn Fernandez remembers the happy moments with Carlos Alvarez. He was the father to my daughter and he was a very very loving person he was a great man and until 2013 when he got into the bodybuilding um his personality changed which was when she was diagnosed with colon cancer it was treated but she now has lung cancer she said she forgives alvarez for this text reportedly saying he hoped she died a slow miserable death with the short lifespan that i think that i have i just want you know i know that he's not well he was a very good man to us uh for for many years. She spoke with us before seeing a prosecutor. Alvarez, a former Miami-Dade mayor and police director, plans to fight the battery charges against him. Fernandez says she was returning his cat to him in this parking garage when they got into an argument. I told him that he was acting like a crabby old man. And, and he snapped and he started spitting at me and he grabbed me and he started like hawking. Which shocked Fernandez, who's been a police officer more than 23 years. The most despicable thing that a person can do to another person is spit on them. And um, I was devastated. Despite verbal abuse that she says escalated in 2013, she and her 16-year-old daughter did not leave Alvarez until September of last year. I stayed with him with the hopes that um, that he would get better, and he promised me that he was going to end his bodybuilding career. Now, Fernandez hopes Alvarez will get the help that he needs. She will have to have 12 treatments for her lung cancer. It is not sure when she'll be able to turn to work at the Miami-Dade Police Department. In the meantime, she hopes to be an example to her teenage daughter, who she's raising by herself. We're live at Coral Gables. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Elliot.